My life now is amazing. I've got two beautiful girls, a lovely home. We're all settled. Six years ago, it wasn't like that. I was a victim of domestic violence, but now I'm a survivor and I want to tell my story because there is help out there and there is people to talk to so you haven't got to suffer in silence. We didn't live together at first. I fell pregnant, I got married, and then he moved in the day after we got married. Everything was just perfect. He lost his job. We had a baby, and his dad was poorly, so all them things, were, he just went off the rails. It, it was strange, it was, and it was hard as well because it was, I'd only been married five weeks and that was all that was going through my mind. I've only been married five weeks. I can do this, I can make things better. I could deal with all the slaps. I just couldn't deal with the head games because that was what top put the icing on the cake. He wouldn't let me have bond, a bond with the baby. I had a new baby, he wouldn't let me have no bonds with it at all. He took everything away. I'd want like, just like, just little things like wanting to change in nappy. Um, no, I'll do that. And like, if he didn't have, and he sleep the night before, he'd be ringing his mum up and saying, take the baby for, for the night for us so we can get her sleep. So he never let me have anything over my own child. I'd go to work and I'd come, and he'd, my bank cards would go missing, and he'd, I'd have money missing out my bank, and I couldn't understand, and he'd lie to me, I haven't been touched, I touched your money. I was scared to do anything. I was scared of the consequences. I, um, I phoned the police, but it took a lot for me to phone the police because I didn't want to phone the police. It, but I, I had to in the end because I knew it was my kids and, you know, I can't let them go through that. It's not, it's not fair. He had a knife in the house and there was me and the two kids in the house. He was off his trolley and I had to, trying to get him out and he wouldn't get out, saying he was threatening to bear me house down and everything. I phoned the police, they, they went out looking for him because he had a knife, but I knew that was the end then. Um, he smashed the kids' bedroom window and the kids were in there. But he'd also forced entry into my house, um, threatened to stab me in front of my oldest and threatened to put my house on fire in front of the baby and the kids were going hysterical, which made me go back into another refuge. I come from the refuge into my new house, I've been there 12 months, um, no contact whatsoever. Uh, one night I was lying in bed, he had the door knocking. When I looked out the window, he was standing outside the house. So I phoned the police and he, he went to prison. I got him out of my life. He doesn't have no contact with the children. It's not allowed. And we're all settled. And I just hope that it can stay that way. Domestic abuse doesn't have to be slaps and punches and, and uh, physical, because it is mental. You could go on for years not being hit at all, not, not putting a hand on you at all, but it's in the mind, it is abuse. There is help out there. You know, if it wasn't for the family safety unit, because they'd done, if it wasn't for them, then I probably would be in a big mess. They helped me through everything, through the first time I go in the refuge. The second time, they were my first point of call. After phone the police, I would phone the family safety unit because I knew that I'd have support there, and I did have some support there.